Hello gamers, this is Flaming Game 7, and welcome back to Celeste. Today, I have reason to believe, will be the final episode. You may wonder why I'm going to the album. I hope you don't, it should be rather obvious. I had a bit of a training session, and it really was just a bit of a training session. Right here. I believe in the video, in, in last episode, I believe, the last episode, I believe we got here twice, and then three times off camera. I got here during my little training session in between episodes. This is what came out of that the last of the three off-camera attempts. You had no idea how much it hurt. I I couldn't I could have just gone left and bounced off the spring. I didn't want to though. I wanted to beat the game right. I want the music to be louder. All right, bam! Get turned up. I'm bad. I I want I want you to see. Like I figured that sec that section is actually really easy. As I said, five times, and I pr could have beaten it if I chose to. Only five times being in the section. That's saying something. And so I just I want to beat this game. All right, it's not like ah, I want to get this out of the way already. No, I want to experience the truly just what I. Okay, uh, I'm getting annoyed at the music being really loud. I, I don't want to experience this, what will likely be one of the best, most epic endings to a game ever. I'm sure, like, the dialogue will be so well written, because, like, it's Celeste. So, of course, the dialogue is going to be well written. It's Celeste! And I did actually figure that that section would be a lot harder than it clearly is. So, I figured you'd only get to see the winning third of the level. Uh, just in that last little bit over there, but no because like it's so easy I'm pretty confident in my ability to get over there pretty fast who knows maybe even this run and So like maybe this runs the running one. I don't know and so I figure yeah We we can definitely get away with just not taking any cuts for the entire flipping episode You get to see the entire winning run when it happens unless something goes horribly wrong I do wonder, when I hit the electricity thing, what's gonna happen? I will say, I'm half worried, I'm gonna have to go back through the section with the electricity off? Let's hope not, but anyways, I- You're kidding. You're- you're- I- I forgot to dash. I- if I had just dashed there, that could've been it. That could've been the winning attempt, right there. Even though I was talking the whole time, I still might've done it just then. <sighs> Sometimes I'm just so disappointed in myself. Sometimes I'm just so disappointed. But yeah, I don't think we'll really need to- I don't even think we'll need to take any time to talk about any random garbage, Attack on Titan, uh, pay, pay, just Mario stuff, nothing. Anything. Because we're gonna get this game done today. It's gonna happen right now, September 30th of 2020. Of course, this video is gonna release in many, many weeks. <laughs> Sometime in October. But, I'm recording it September 30th, 2020, and this will be when I beat the game. It will be from about a minute before I started recording, to still right now, my heart has been being wildly. You have no I I, I shouldn't have been going so fast. I, I just love Celeste so much. It means so much to me to finally beat this video game after a little over a year. I started it about halfway through September. I kind of wish I beat it within a year, but I took that one two and a half month break that one time. So, yeah, not that surprising it took me over a year. But beating a video game in a little over a year is really good for me. And that's, that's not good. And I do just mean 100%ing it. Of course, I beat the game after, like, a couple months. Even still, that's way longer than it should have been <laughs> for most people. But for me, a couple months just beating a game is really good. Beating the game the same year I got it? When was the last time I did that? I don't know, it's freaking crazy. But yeah, I think we're far enough into here. I don't really think we have to, but just in case, I'm just gonna be quiet and concentrate. Never know what might happen. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, remember what I said about us not having to talk about random crap because I'd get to the end real easily? 
Um, that was a lie. So, uh, the new Smash Fighter, well, not, the new Smash Fighter has not been announced. But it's been announced that tomorrow the new Smash Fighter will be revealed. Ooh, I am so excited for that. My top five picks, in order from least wanted to most wanted. But least wanted, of course, is still my top five pick. I still really want them. By the way, some of these are going to be dumb picks. Just deal with it. Number five, we've got Crazy Dave. Yes, I mean the one from Plants vs. Zombies. Almost. Almost saved it. Uh, number four, Paper Mario. Number three, Hat Kid from A Hat in Time. Number two, Monica Doki from Doki Doki Literature Club. And of course, number one is Steve Minecraft. No, no one's surprised about that. Those are my top five most like, or not most likely, most wanted picks. But let's talk about my most likely picks. I think in order from, like, this next fighter, the second fighter of the Fighters Pass, to the last fighter of the Fighters Pass, I think it's going to be an Animal Crossing or Pokemon, but most likely Pokemon representative. Um, then we're going to get, uh, who did I think was going to be next? Steve. I think Steve's going to be next. And then a pick for us Western fans, like Waluigi or Gino, uh, which would also serve as another Mario rep, and I'm sure Nintendo would like that. And then, uh, after that, I forget who, I think the next one I thought would be, uh, Lloyd Irving. Yeah, Lloyd Irving. And if you don't know who he is, that's fine. That makes sense. And then next, Sora. Uh, those are my... The, the, who I think the Fighters Pass is gonna be. But anyways, I gotta shut up and concentrate right here. My heart has still been beating this whole time, and it is not stopping now. Ah! Oh, I'm panicking. I'm just so excited to finally get to the end of this game, because it's just so good, and it's... It is also honestly gonna be nice to have something just marked off the list. Just one thing marked off the new list. One game just beaten, done, gone, out of there. You gotta admit, that was a pretty fast... Like, a pretty small amount of time between, Oh crap, I failed. That thought going through my head, and then me killing myself. You gotta admit, that was pretty darn fast. I think that was rather gamer. Uh, but yeah, I'm so hyped for this next Smash Fighter. Of course, it will probably be someone like... I don't know, because I probably won't know them. Okay, I think that's a little mean to say I won't know them, all right? Even, uh, like, I just, ah, uh, you know, that take too long to explain, and I don't really want to start anything super long with the game being almost beaten, so whatever. Besides, it's probably, I'm, knowing me, I'm just gonna mess it up and not even say it right, because it's just one of those things, but... As well as a new Smash, it, be, it being announced that a new Smash fight will come out tomorrow. Tomorrow, not tomorrow. It could be Mario, a Mario character. It could just be Mario, as in Paper Mario. And there is, of course, that new Paper Mario game that came out like two months ago, two and a half months ago. Still haven't beaten it because I'm stupid. Um, so I think Paper Mario could totally happen. That would be epic. I'd love to see him in. By the way, go watch my Paper Mario move set and all my other move set videos. I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, concentration time. Wonderful. Wonderful. You love to see it. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Won't say anything. Except that I'm hype. This is the one. Birds here. Alright. Bat battling. Bird. Battling. Bird. Battling. Feather. Feather. <sighs> Who? Say goodbye to her for me. We've got our double dash abilities back. Battle infused with us once again. The birds flying up. We're flying up. My heart rate's flying up. I don't think I've been this hyped to finish a video game in ever. Clouds. 
It's Gritty! Gritty! Hey there, kiddo. It's so great to see you! I didn't know what to do without you! But you aren't real. It's just a dream. So what? I didn't stop you from coming all this way. You finally found me, and now and you care that it's just a dream? You make excuses and say what you need to say. I'm sorry I didn't come to your funeral. I couldn't do it. I just shut down. Eh, <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> Face. Hey, what do I care? Shut up to that thing. I'm dead! <laughs> Phoenix are for all you suckers stuck living without me. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me out so much, and I really miss you. Bye-bye! Uh. No, no, don't, don't, no. I don't feel like joking around now. This is serious, and this is epic. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going like nothing happened? Like you aren't gone forever? I'm wondering where Badlin and the bird are. Safe? What's gonna happen? Oh! This is not what I expected. What is this? It's like... This is not what I expected! Hold up! Theo! Yo, Theo! Alright! <laughs> we got like a freaking. Uh, this is like a visual novel. We got like the background here of the visual novel and the novel part of the. Which is like the visual part of the visual novel and the novel part of the visual novel. Alright, alright. I didn't ex. I did not expect this. Like, this kind of style, I guess. There she is. Long time no see. Strawberry. <laughs> hey, Theo. It's been forever. Went off the grid. What happened to you? Yeah, sorry for not responding to your messages, or answering your calls, or replying to your emails. I kind of had a break. I kind of had a breakdown when Granny died. And then I f felt weird messaging you. I thought maybe you were mad at me for disappearing. It snowballed from there. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I think the funeral might have triggered your anxiety. NBD. Mm, I don't know what that means. Next time, at least just let me know you're still alive. Feel any better? Yeah. Finally starting to come to terms with it. When I first met Granny, I thought she was crazy. Then I got to know her. And I thought she was mean. But she knew what I needed to hear. She really helped me. Miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. I honestly thought she'd live forever. Oh, that reminds me. I have to show you something. Oh? Oh? You were told you my grandpa went to Celeste Mountain when he was younger? Your grandpa's a Shiro. Well, I was going through some of his old stuff with Alex, your brother, I guess. Check out this photo I found. Oh. Oh, no, I, I don't get to move it. Oh, it's just two people. It's just them on the mountain. Wait, this granny? With, with his grandpa? Theo, it's amazing. Looks like they were friends. Or, uh, let, let me guess. You know... No, uh, never mind, no. Everything I just thought was proven wrong. Just like us. At least sex that they're gone. It's nice to know that we shared the mountain with them. Yeah. That is nice. That laugh. Kinda wanna screen- you know what, let's screenshot this. Do I press A? I do. Is that it? Fair. Oh my gosh! 4,760. How many checkpoints are there? There's singular, power source, remembered, event horizon, determination, da da da, da stubbornness. A word I can't even pronounce. And farewell. That one last flipping room. And that's it. <laughs> That's Celeste. Let's check the uh, the log thing. Farewell. We got the bird. That's all that's there. The bird. Strawberries. No strawberries. Uh, we've only got, for some reason, the red skull desk, which means B-side. I don't really get that. Yeah, we, um, we set a bit of a record. 
It took me 14 hours and 10 minutes to beat that. 14 hours and... Okay, okay. We've had... We've had, like... Uh, how many ep- This is episode 10, I think. I love that we're ending it on that nice number. Nice 10. I like that number to end it on. So that's an average of an hour and five minutes each episode. That's gonna be 650 minutes, which is... Oh, man. I'm gonna have to do math. Um, 11 hours. So three hours of this was cut out. Actually, more like three hours, 20 minutes. Three hours and 20 minutes of that was cut out. I did not think that much was cut out. And, oh, man, I know I could do calculations on how long it took me to uh, beat Farewell. Not, like, the final room, I mean, in Farewell. And I'm going to do that after the video, and I'll put them in the description. <sighs> 14 hours and 10 minutes. Some of the funnest, most gruesome 14 hours and 10 minutes of my life. Whoo! That was amazing. These past four months, they've been epic. I've been, I've loved this final chapter so much. This game is so good. I love it, and that, and this, it's weird. This, that's it. It's one of my favorite ever. But there's nothing left to do. I could get the golden strawberries. I'm not doing that. Got all the crystal hearts, all of the. Of the everything. I'm not getting the golden strawberries, though. I hate those things. I despise them. Everything else, though, as you can see here, I have. But that chapter, it was so difficult, but it was so... It was always ob it was usually obvious what to do. And if it wasn't obvious at first, it became pretty clear after that. And, like, the writing was so good. And I love the introduction of the wave dash. That was just... Wow, 62 hours, 5 minutes, 24 seconds, and 279 milliseconds. Some of the best of my life, baby. Anything else here I really feel like screenshotting? We, nah, not this really, because I don't really understand this. Fewest deaths. Uh, what kind of deaths have we had? Like, de uh, farewell, apparent, clear, ni 976. I don't get that, though. Because we have we died more here. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I'm not looking at Farewell. Oh, Farewell's got, like, its own little thing. Why isn't there... I don't know. I, I've never understood I either of these three, uh, two pages. I've never understood them. <sighs> but that was so, so fun. Even though it was so difficult, only, like, once or twice, I really felt myself getting mad. And I get mad at games more often than you may think. I love that. I love this game. And I kind of wish I... Nah, I don't wish I'd done a series on the rest of the game. I'm glad it was only Farewell. But yeah. I don't really know what else to say. I do have plans to maybe do a, of a review on this game. Video style. Maybe. But I think for now, that's it. I, most of my favorite games don't really have endings. They're like Minecraft or Smash Bros. or Mario Maker. You can just keep playing forever. But for Celeste, that's it. It's over. I can archive it. Feels kind of weird, but I don't see any reason, real reason not to. Yeah. That's it. I, I'm excited for my possible upcoming video style review on it. I'm specifying video style because you might think I'm gonna write one on Twitter, which you should follow my Twitter if you like anime. If not, don't follow my Twitter. I'm just gonna tell you, just don't. We barely ever talk about video games there, and if we do, it's usually Jump Force, Once Justice 2, or something like that. Yeah, I think uh, I'm done rambling. I'm done saying the same thing over and over. I loved each and every bit of this game. And I think, uh... I think here, let's, uh... Let's just go here and just dash around a bit in the first level. Don't really care. N not even if, if it's the final episode. We can't use our dash yet. Never mind. We're going to leave this. Okay, hold up. Look at that. We, we got so many stamps. This is epic. There we go. If we enter here, we'll actually be able to dash around and stuff. Oh, God. That golden strawberry. I've just loved this game. For now, gamers, this has been Flame Game 7. Make sure to like, subscribe, and remember, kids, eat your green vegetables and play Celeste if you like a challenge. Also, wow, that's a lot of deaths.